फोर्टी वन हाँ टेल मी थर्टी फोर फोर्टी फाइव सेवेंटीन एट हंड्रेड फोर नाइंटी हाँ सेवेंटीन कैन वी गो एंड वेरीफाई लास्ट डिजिट वाई एप्रॉक्सीमेशन एप्रॉक्सीमेशन अंजाली in approximations we cannot verify last digit or multiplication rules we cannot apply hmm. two times of 45 90 is subtracted from 490 still 400 units subtract subtract 400 from 800 and last one 445 tell me 15 into 6 minus plus and right hand side fellow comes to this side How much you need to subtract? Fifty subtracted from two seventy-five. Two twenty-five plus three hundred. Third option. Next. Divided by plus seven twenty by minus by is equal to root x, right? Okay. Seventeen. Three times sixty-eight. Four times sixteen. Four times sixty-four, eighty. Five times sixty times seventy-nine minus sixty. Nineteen x is equal to nineteen square. Three sixty-one. Right? How much is it? Into how much? Ten times and half plus. Twenty-five into how much? Five hundred minus into answer one eighty subtracted from one ninety plus five hundred four twenty divided by seven into twelve minus plus eleven percent of two hundred seven. Sixteen to twelve, seven twenty. First number eleven percent of two hundred twenty two. So that is seven hundred and forty two. From this, if you subtract three hundred and fifty, subtract four hundred, add fifty. Subtract four hundred, three forty two plus fifty, three ninety two. Next, hmm. Tell me, twelve by fourteen. Twenty-eight by twenty-two. Padhte le ra. Hmm. Tere. Mane calls ni mano adu kunam. Tell me twelve by twenty-eight by half. One ten by into eighty one by into okay twenty seven three times ah twenty two five times fourteen two times okay next one going oh. Twelve, four times four, one, four, four. Two into five, ten. Three times of one forty-four, right? One forty-four three times from the last digit. Two, one forty-three times. Let's go with this. One forty-four three times. One forty-three times four twenty. Four three times twelve. Four twenty twelve. Four. Thirty-two. Right. So this is over. This is over. Next. Case rate kalam ho. Fifty-eight onwards. In a physical test, there are two thousand four hundred persons. They appeared in a test on running and long jump. How many games? some of them qualified in running and long jump some persons qualified in both 
So here they are giving you clue. What to use? What to use? Venn diagram. Both are there. One is running. The other one is long jump. Okay. Twenty percent of them did not qualify in any test. Out of two thousand four hundred, four hundred did not qualify. Correct. That means how many are qualified? Nineteen. So when you add all these values, that must be equal to nineteen twenty. Right. Continue. Number of persons qualified for running is eleven sixty. So total running it they said eleven sixty. Correct. And then. Number of persons who failed in the long jump is thirteen twenty. Out of out of total only, out of total thirteen twenty did not get qualified. Correct. So how many are qualified in the sense total minus thirteen twenty? How much is that? One zero eight zero. Correct. So one zero eight zero. Now when you add all these values, one. Two, three. That must be equal to nineteen twenty. In running, how many are there? In long jump, both together, two thousand two hundred forty. But it has to be. Then why did you get two thousand two hundred and forty? Two thousand two hundred and forty. Why did you get that? So this common area is counted in running. As well as long jump. So whatever is the difference that we get now between two thousand two forty and total nineteen twenty, that is equal to common area three twenty. Then only running, only running eight forty in running circle already three twenty is there. Remaining eight forty in long jump out of thousand eighty three twenty is here seven hundred and. Right. Understood. Now, what is the sum of number of persons who qualified for only one test? Only one test. That is, only running, only long jump. Sum sixteen hundred. Correct. Next. What is the sum of persons who qualified for both tests and did not qualify for any test? Did not qualify for any test. Qualified for both tests, and the question is difference only. Difference is sum. Ah, uh, sum. Sum is equal to eight hundred. First option. What is the total number of persons who did not qualify only running? Total number of people who did not qualify only running. Total running. How many are qualified? Eleven sixty out of total. Two thousand four hundred out of two thousand four hundred. If eleven sixty got qualified, remaining did not qualify. Yes or no? How much is that? Again, again. Huh? Did not qualify. Did you know? Ah, only. Seven hundred and no eight. Seven sixty, seven sixty answer. Hmm. How many qualified? How many qualified? Out of nineteen twenty qualified people, there are eleven sixty people qualified for running. Remaining seven sixty people did not qualified in running. Correct. So this four eighty, which includes both, four eighty includes. Both running and long jump, but the question is about only running. So out of qualified 1920 people, 1160 qualified in running. Then remaining difference 760 did not qualified only in running. At the main door, right. Next, what is the respective ratio between number of students who qualify only for running to those qualify only for long jump? Only they are using a word called only. Only running, only long jump. Zero zero gets cancelled for twenty one times, for nineteen times. Twenty one nineteen first option. 
the total number of persons who qualify for both test is what percent of the total number of persons who did not qualify for any test okay right how many qualified 320 and how many did not qualify any test 480 so the question is 320 upon 480 into 100 only 162 times 3 times what do you mean by 2 by 3 66 2 by 3 now this is also over next bar graph from 15 right so here also if you are confident need not to prepare the table but while taking data you need to be careful so i recommend you to prepare the table though numbers are mentioned Hubali, Panji, Mumbai, Raipur, Delhi and Bangalore. Golden Temple, Taj Mahal, Red Fort. Given below bar graph shows the number of people who visited the Golden Temple, Taj Mahal, Red Fort from six different cities. It will be easy. You want me to explain? Direct ratio gani, percentage gani, difference gani, sum gani adutar. Normal gani on You want me to explain? I will. Sure. Yes. The given below pie chart shows the data regarding the number of medals won by six different states in Kalo India Games 2021 is 820. Okay. Now states are given Maharashtra, Haryana, Delhi, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Okay. First let's write total. 30 percentage calculated on 820. 10 percent three times. 82 three times. 2, 4, 6. Next 25 percent half and half. Do not 5, 15 percent, 10 percent plus half, 82, 41, 1, 23, 10 percent, 82, 15 percent and then 5 percent, these are total. And then now, next, the given table shows the number of gold medals and the respective ratio between silver and bronze, okay, gold. Gold. Uh, gold, how many are there? 136 out of 246. Remaining 110 is divided in the ratio 11 parts. Each part is equal to 10. Then silver and branch, they are 60 and 50 each. Next, Haryana gold. Remaining 85. 85 divided into 17 parts, 5 times, 8 fives, 40, 45, 45 Delhi, remaining, remaining 78, remaining 78, divided into 13 parts, 6 times, 42, 36, Karnataka, 32, remaining 50, 2 is to 3, 5 parts, 20, 30, UP, remaining 80, divided into 4 parts, 60, 20, 21, remaining 20, divided into 5 parts, 4 and, once the table is ready, I hope you can answer all the questions, can you solve or you want me to explain, can you do?